G'day, this is Simon here at South OC Cars and Coffee. No James this morning, so it's up to me to give you guys the tour. Perfect weather, some great cars. Let's go for a walk and check some stuff out. Hey, excuse me, excuse me. I love your car. What do you do for a living? <laughs> no, nothing, N nothing at all. Beautiful looking Huracan STO here. This color really does this car justice. And if you can see inside, that matching area on the trim as well, the armrest and then the stitching uh, on the seats as well. Beautiful car, beautiful wheels, great color. I love the back of these things, especially the fact that they've got obviously this roof scoop that leads air down into it as well. Absolutely wonderful looking color, really suits the car. Beautiful looking Aventador here in blue. Check this thing out absolutely special color metallic and there's a it has a really interesting option uh this guy here how are you fella one over there and one over there a couple of beautiful snakes in here look at that very cool rest of the car beautiful isn't it carbon fiber beautiful blue love the fact that that v12 there is all exposed and uh the ultimate option to, i think it's probably the ultimate burglar alarm is this guy here this beautiful looking Huracan Performante belongs to Paul. So many nice little touches. Have a look at the forged carbon, so much of it. We got on the hood here, we've got the front splitter, we got the mirrors, we got the roof. Beautiful car. I look at even little details like the vent that's here. Um, the real magic happens back here, aside from obviously the spoiler as well. Um, but check this out, this is a VF engineering supercharger package on this car. So it not only looks amazing, it's got the, uh, the horsepower to go with it as well. Adds about 300 horsepower to these cars, which hey, that's, that's a heck of a lot on top of what they normally come with, which I think is around about 620. So add another 300 horsepower to that and a ton of torque as well that's kind of instant because of the blow. Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! We got the guys here from Reviver again this week. Reviver, of course, offer a digital DMV approved license plate. And what's really cool about it, look at that. Apart from the fact that it says South OC Cars and Coffee. It can be white with a black lettering. It can be black with white lettering. Uh, you can also have it so that if your car is stolen, you can actually alert the authorities that it's stolen. And the really cool thing I like about it is you no longer have to deal with those terrible stickers that uh, you have to put on each year. You can actually renew your registration on it using an app, which is great. If the car moves, you get notified through that app so you know that it's being stolen. And then, of course, as I just mentioned, you can actually alert it as well. So the guys from Reviver, always great to have you here, guys. Thank you for being part of the South Easy Cars and Coffee family. Polestar here again every week. This is actually the updated version of the Polestar 2. Has a uh, quite a few improvements. You'll notice the front on it is slightly different. Uh, Polestar is just rolling out with new models. You're going to see more and more of that in the coming weeks. Uh, we had the Polestar three here a few weeks ago but you're going to see the three which is the suv then you're going to see the four then the five which is this beautiful uh beautiful looking supercar style car um so many great models coming out um uh, also a model which is the the four which is the equivalent i guess to a porsche taycan style vehicle as well so great models coming out from polestar if you want to test drive this car jump onto their website uh, or simply scan this qr code you can see right here Stay strong, you will never see me crack And if you get in my way, you're gonna feel the wrath Gotta say it to my face while he's looking back Mirror breaks after math, when I hate, I attack
couple of cool looking Chevys here. Have a look at this air ride, obviously. Look at the angle of this guy here and the other one over here. Looking good. I think these yeah, are great like classic old cars, aren't they? Put the air ride on them, get them a uh, bit of lift on it. This one's just got a 350 in it. Just such a great era of cars. And this is where it all began, the C1 Corvette. Of course, the first ones that came out had a six cylinder, couldn't provide the performance that they needed to compete with the European cars like the Ferraris are after. So they introduced, as you can hear in this one, a V8 to it. And I believe, looking under the hood, this one's actually fuel injected as well. What a cool car. Now this is a bone stock 1969 Camaro right here, ladies and gentlemen. You hear this is, you know, like a small block. I'm, I'm just, I'm just playing with you. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, the big block. How much horsepower? Seven hundred and two hundred seventy-five. Two hundred seventy. Two hundred seventy. And how many extra on top of that? Two hundred seventy-five. Uh, probably another five hundred. Yeah, five hundred. About seven hundred seventy-five. Beautiful car, isn't it? Really clean engine bay. Notice it's got this new intake manifold that's been made uh, with with uh, fuel injector rails on it. So. Underneath that stock style of air cleaner, you'll find a throttle body, um, and then this is the injectors in the side. So no different than what you'd see on an LS for injecting, uh, obviously injecting fuel into it. Beautiful looking uh, aluminum, or as the correct people would say, aluminium heads. Clean car. You've done good. Thank you, sir. And beautiful, really, really clean. So I mean, I'm car of the week. No, not quite. But one of these days. When this thing pulled in, I thought this is unusual. Um, I'm not surprised I haven't seen one before. One of 12 remaining. This is actually a Ford 1960 Ford Frontenac. Front, Frontenac, what an interesting word. What, the body style is very similar to the Falcons I know we've seen here before and the Falcons we used to have in Australia, but some of the cool Canadian things like, look at the badges with the maple leaf and the same with the hubcaps. Uh, really lovely looking trim in here with that fabric in there. And even the, 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 the logo with the uh, maple leaf there as well. So I think for all intents and purposes, the, the metal was stamped obviously like a Falcon, but it looks a little smaller. The, the wheelbase looks a little smaller from what I've seen. Certainly more than the sh shorter than the sedan versions, but isn't that great? Just seeing something you don't normally see on the road. 1960 Ford Frontenac. Nice looking little Audi here, I saw this when I pulled in. Uh, it's built as an S2 Tribute. The gentleman over here was just talking to me about this car. Um, so a lot of stuff, different motor in it. So this motor is actually out of an RST you were saying? RST, yeah. RS2, so it's got a turbo on it, whereas the original uh, version didn't. And how much horsepower? 400 About 450. 450 horsepower, which is impressive. Have a look at the size of the brakes on this thing. Absolutely huge, massive calipers as well. Really nice Recaro seats in there. It's a really clean looking car, really nice looking build. Not something you see every day. And I, I love the red on it, uh, especially with the white wheels. I think it really suits it. So, hey, nice car, sir. Thanks for bringing it out. I was just talking to the owner of this car, this gentleman standing over here. What a great colour. The BMW, we were just saying, we were saying Porsche, BMW, and also the muscle cars of this era were such great colours. What colour is this? In orange? It's Inca a, orange. What's it called? Inca. Inca orange. Yeah, it didn't matter who you were. If you were Chevy, it was called Hugger orange. Uh, this car, I love 2002. I remember going on one when I was uh, a young guy, just going, wow, this thing revs. Um, oh, and here's his stereo system. A oh, Bluetooth speaker. See, it doesn't have to install something I'm different. Not, it up. not, no, you don't want to cut the dash up. But this is the reason cars like this, guys like me, I wanted a bright orange car, is because this is the colours that were around when we were kids and we were getting into cars. And 
I know that we're just saying that most cars these days are black, silver, white, grey, and I know a lot of people like those probably because that was, was what was in when they were younger, but for me, anything that's bright orange is going to catch my eye walking past. Hey, thanks for bringing it out. I was just walking past this and thought, oh yeah, that looks pretty clean. You don't see a lot of them around anymore. And then as I got past the back of it, I thought, I better go back and have a bit of a look because the first thing I noticed was the, the car be up there, which I think, I could be wrong, looks like a Carter sitting up there. Uh, a bit hard to tell. But then I noticed this sitting in there as well. Great big turbo as well. Can you imagine this thing? This would be lifting the front wheels off the ground, especially with that, those wheels, that motor back over the back of those uh, back wheels. What a cool thing. <laughs> That is it for another week at South OC Cars and Coffee. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I want to give a big shout out to all of our sponsors, to the Bracketeer, Wear Marketing, Meguiar's, Polestar, Reviver, the PDM Brands, Next Level Auto Protection, 100 Exotic Rentals, Carbantastic, and Happy Jewelers. If you would like to be a sponsor, please check out our website on our sponsorship page. You can bring your vehicle in, showcase what you do. Great opportunity to build your business off of our brand. I want to give a big thank you to all of our volunteers as well. We could not do this without their support. If you would like to become a volunteer, please reach out to us either on our Instagram page at South OC Cars and Coffee Merch or our website. You get to bring your car in early. You also get a free coffee and donut thanks to the guys at Ruby's. Big thank you to Ruby's for doing that. We could not do the show without those guys feeding the masters, so make sure to support them and also to the outlets of San Clemente. If you need to buy, do any shopping, go to the restaurants, go to the movies, come to the outlets, tell them South OC Cars and Coffee sent you. Don't forget, if you're coming to the show, please remember to follow our rules. No speeding, no revving, no burnouts. That includes on the streets around San Clemente and getting on off the freeway as well. Well, that is it. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. We'll see you back here next week for another South OC Cars and Coffee.